With the ubiquity of digital design techniques, digital fabrication's functional capabilities has created an obsession with surface and form and architecture, while ignoring the most basic concepts of construction, structure, and detail. Instead of embracing the poetic nature of the tectonic, digital modeling encourages the spectacle of superfluous decoration while still relying on traditional structure and construction techniques, creating a disconnect between designer and maker. Architecture needs to move beyond the surface-focused and scenographic obsessions allowed by digital design technologies and embrace layered, multifaceted architectural experience. The ultimate problem with architecture as a scenographic object is the lack of appreciation of architecture as a constructed object. All the while, at the center of tectonics, there is a desire to present a work of architecture as a constructed space filled with an intention that is mediated by the art form between the core form and the user. Further adding to the issue of architecture disengaged from tectonics is the duality of designer and the builder. Starting from the Renaissance, when the architects and builder skills were separated until today, with legal jurisdictions between architect and engineer, there exists a disempowerment of the architect and thus a creation of many theoretical predicaments. First, the law effectively severs the architect from the specific relationship she or he can construct between the technical specification of an artifact and its corollary effect. Second, it further problematizes the relationship between design intent and material construction by not offering a mechanism of control to determine the degree of association between them. Third, the law also suggests a broader problem by cloaking the many means and methods available to the contractor, which are arguably the root substance of architectural production. This thesis intends to critique the accession with form and surface and offer insight into a digital design that harnesses the sensory potential of architecture inherent with tectonics thereby making them more relevant to the user and more engaging. Through study of digital design techniques, assembly and construction techniques, structural analysis and design, and invest investigation of the detail, a process of designing building can be created using the potential of technology in order to mend the technological disconnect and jurisdictional divide between designer and maker, as well as the experiential disconnect between architecture and user. The outcome of this thesis is not so much a building, but rather a structure, specifically a temporary exhibition pavilion for an architectural biennale. The design of the structure will implement advanced structural analysis, parametric design, and digital fabrication. In using advanced technology, more precise control can be given over the design of the structure and the details. The site selection for this project will be in Columbus, Indiana for the Columbus Architectural Biennale. The rich history of Columbus allows ample resource from which to draw inspiration and beneficial environment to further this discourse of tectonics. Sense of place in Columbus is that of pride with its architectural identity, both through its presence of historic works and influential installations. Overall, this thesis explores the question of tectonics in a digital age, mainly the role of the detail to balance innovation beyond the skin and technology as a means to bridge the gap between designing and building details. As a result of this investigation, a process of designing building is exemplified that harnesses the expression of architecture. With a better understanding of phenomenology, the detail, and technology, a holistic engagement can be achieved with the user. Digital design does not go against the tectonic, rather it presents tools with which tectonics can be achieved.